Welcome again everyone, today I'm going to show you a new stuff about uh, Windows and SSH keys how to how to exchange keys between Windows and Linux so let's start I got also an, uh, uh, like a message that uh, uh, SSH is not uh, restarting every time when you start with your Windows so it's really easy going to the services search with the services here and then and then type here uh, like OB and you will find it here like this one properties here and automatic and start so it will, this one is will start it every time so let's start our uh, command line here like last time we created the SSH folder and everything in here like find like the config file and uh, the SSH folder so here I will SSH key gen and minus t rsa so this one it will create for you the uh, private and public key so i will not create a password for it that's that's it so i have here my linux machine so i will go here to my linux machine and also i will uh, ssh i like i will ssh key gen here and uh, minus t rsa so this one it will create also so I have here my SSH folder and I will uh, test the connection between my uh, client my client this is Windows I will go to Windows now uh, here yes so this one it will work and you connect it to Windows so exit and here I will uh, now I want to uh, for example I want to uh, copy my SSH uh, my SSH SSH copy ID it will not work with Windows so like if I will try it with you guys because this one also uh, it's really interesting like because if you, even if you put your password it will not put the SSH so I make it with easy way so secure copy secure copy and your ID public here like public and because I don't have here my authorized keys here like here you don't have anything here so I will make it like this really simple so you will copy your ID and here the client put the here SSH and slash authorized slash authorized underscore keys so this one it will copy your uh, ID, public ID to the machine. So it will copy it now. So now I will uh, SSH my client here, and I will try to connect again. Oh, sorry, like this, without asking the password, and that's it. It will create for you the folder here, here, there. Your authorized type, authorized and my public uh, public ID key is here already so this really easy way if you find some like another easy way you can make it because like I can make it like the secure copy from Windows because I know I want to connect to my uh, I want to connect my Linux machine and let's try here yes it will ask let's see here now, uh, one second. I uh, want you. Yes. This is my password, so I can connect to my Linux. So I will uh, now like is like ID public. So um, user at this one and this is H authorized keys. done ssh try again here without asking the password that's it really easy you have you have to uh, copy the ssh so you copy it put all the ssh keys on the folder um, or, or in the file and just copy it there and you will find it's really really easy way i didn't find any maybe and the in the next videos maybe I will find something more uh, simpler than this one so uh, I hope this video will help you more and um, actually I'm I'm planning to also I I'm not forgetting like uh, I'm not 
I didn't forget that I need to upload another two videos which is Nagius also Nagius we can send the uh, alerts like with the email Nagius server will send in emails and also if you want to put a lot of machines like uh, a lot of hosts many hosts to the to the configuration file for the Nagius so uh, thank you for watching and see you in next video